Hey guys, Darcy here, and we're going to talk about the fastest way to navigate plugins with Inside Luna. Let's jump into it. All right, so how do we put plugins on tracks? Just like that basic question out of the gate with Luna, okay? So we have a track here, and as you can see on the left-hand side, we have this whole kind of drawer that's, uh, that's available to us when we're in our editor kind of view where we can see all of our waves. For anyone who's used Logic before, it's a very similar idea. Now, you can also switch by going Command and then the plus slash equals sign, and that'll bring up your mixer window, which is like every DAW that you basically use. And in here, we'll see our chain, uh, basically how audio is being processed. And again, we see the same kind of idea of these tracks. In both of these views, we have the inserts, and that's where you basically put your plugins, okay? So on whatever track, you would click your inserts, and on the left-hand side, we will see this bigger drawer with all of the plugins. I'm just gonna go back to the other view uh, for now. And so we click on inserts, right? And we will see all of these options. Now, for a lot of people, it's by default, your way of navigating is with your mouse. So you'll go down this list and you'll start to realize that this is insane. Like this is not how you want to navigate this list. It's, it's too much work. Like I want to find a waves plugin. Well, first off, everything here is alphabetical except for this first drawer or this first like folder, which is my universal audio, which is the ones that I own. Then the next one is universal audio. And then it starts going alphabetical with every other um, vendor that you have of plugins. So if I want to find my Waves plugins, like this is not the way you want to do this. And you would think by default that, oh, this is organized poorly, but it's not. The way you're supposed to use this is actually by searching and typing, and it'll move quickly, okay? So let's say I want to see all of my Waves plugins. I would type the word Waves, and it will detect that either the word Waves is either in the name of the folder that contains all the plugins, the vendor name, or in the plugin name itself. Now, let's start over for a quick second, because I'm going to go into that more. But when you first click an insert, it will automatically put your cursor into the search box so that you can type right away without having to do anything. So again, if I type that waves again, it's right there. So I'm gonna hit X and show this one more time. Click plus, type waves, basically one click and a little bit of typing and I got some plugins, okay? Now, let's say I wanted to get that RC20 plugin, okay? I don't wanna, let's say I don't remember who makes the plugin, okay? Right now, actually, I can't remember. So I basically just gonna type RC dash, and I'm already there, right? And it's made by XLN Audio. So that's how quick it is, and it's basically narrowing it down by how many of the letters are together. So we, when I just do RC, we got Fairchild, because RC is in the middle of it, and so it can get really quick. And especially if you remember things like, just say the word 20, okay, we have quite a few 20s. I go dash 20, all right, now we have two, right? It gets quick based on how you remember to type. And usually you just remember your favorite plugins and how they're named quite easily and quite quickly. So again, I'll type the RC20, click dash 20, right? Or type dash 20. And then I'm gonna click down on my, on my keyboard and it automatically selects it. Up and down arrows will basically navigate through. So let's say I'm gonna, uh, do another insert, okay? So I'm done with that one. I'm gonna do another insert, uh, imager plugin, because I have two variations of that. So I type image, and I have a few. So as I click down, it will automatically select the first one. When I click down again, it'll select the next one. So it's just toggling through. If I go quickly up and down, it'll basically just kind of go through them quickly. It'll lag a little bit depending on how many you, 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 you click through, but essentially we'll just kind of follow what you're doing. It's just about moving quickly through typing what you are thinking and you will find what you want. But really all this is, is click, type, hit down on your arrow key and you have a plugin inserted on the track. And if you have any more questions related to navigating plugins and working with them, let me know, comment and, and ask for a follow-up question and I will be glad to, to jump on that. That's it. Peace y'all.